Hey, I haven't even started. I lost stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm in bad shape. I'll find them. Well, I won't find them. I'll just get some new, new ones. Oh, it was underneath my paper. Never mind. Well, how is everybody doing? <laughs> how is everybody doing? I've been extremely busy today. I pooped and I thought, you know what? I need to relax. And I thought, I wonder if anybody else needs to relax. And it's funny, I don't seem to relax watching other people. I relax if I do it. So, um, otherwise, you know, there's plenty of people I could be watching right now. But that does not help me wind down. Anyway, so I got um, on my uh, kick of looking through all of my silk and different types of fake flowers that I have. <laughs> I have them up in bags, in garbage bags, up um, just like in storage. Some of them were mine that I used to have in arrangements. Others are stuff that people gave me and said, oh, do you think you can use this? And, you know, I'm real stupid. I would say, oh, maybe. So, you know, five years later, <laughs> I'm rummaging through that stuff. I'm just cutting off the um, the hard, hard edges, the, the part that, you know, sticks into the branch. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, well, you guys should get on and and have me um, go on and play with you guys. See, I don't I don't know how to do the um, I shouldn't say I don't know how I've never done the um, the what you call it. I've gone on with other people, but I've never like initiate hosted it. So I'm not really sure how to do it. I mean, I could try. Because. You know, I haven't used up any minutes on the stream yard. I know you guys have used your minutes. I haven't used any. I got plenty. Still waiting. I know. Um, I looked on the um, tracking. I checked the tracking on everybody's stuff, you know, because different things go out different days. So I check every day. People that um, I sent out like two or three days before you, Susan, they got their stuff. Mine shows the tracking that it's it's down in Texas. This was yesterday, and it said that it was on its way to another distribution, blah, 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 whatever that means, I guess, where they, you know, get all of the um, the mail and stuff, and then they send it off to different places. It seems it happens more often when I send stuff to Texas. I had one lady. It went to it went to tech. No, it went to Nashville. Then it went to Texas. Then it went to I forget some New England state. I can't remember where it was. Then it went to Georgia. Then it went to Texas. Then it went to a different distribution place in Texas. It must have taken two weeks. It wouldn't even take me that long to walk to her place. Two weeks. It was crazy. Crazy, crazy. Crazy. So what I thought I was going to do, what I do, uh, I haven't done this, but, you know, I know it's been done with real leaves. So I thought, well, let's try some jelly printing with some fake leaves.
Um, oh, okay, Susan. Um, and I'll give you the tracking too when I get off here. I'll give that to you. That way, you know, you can scream and holler at them or something. I don't know. But that was yesterday. And it usually it says when you check the tracking, it'll tell you when it's expected to be there. It doesn't give me any date because it should have been there already. <laughs> it should have been there days ago. So, but I know it's in Texas. That's all I can say. At least it's not, you know, like in Puerto Rico or Arizona or Alaska or something like that. It's at least in your state. Okay, so basically I've been tearing all these things apart. So um, I don't want, you know, really stiff, stiff, callous stuff, you know, pushing in because you push it in and I don't want it to mess up. Um, so this was um, one of these, um, you know, all of these, I guess these are Boston ferns. They, you know, they have the back back there. So I ripped the backs out. But then when I ripped the backs out, I thought, ooh, these might make a kind of cool design too if I don't push too hard. So I saved some of those in um, various sizes. And I thought, oh, this might look kind of cool. You never know. So I got some of these. And then this was, you know, a different type of fern. I've forgotten the names of all my ferns. I used to have all kinds of ferns when I lived in the tropics and I used to know the names of all of them. I've just forgotten everything. My brain is just gone. It's fried. Um, I'm surprised I knew these were Boston ferns. Anyway, so I took the backs off of these and so those can lay flat, and I'll use some of the backs. Took these ferns. Here's some more of the other ferns. And here was a couple of other leaves. I don't even remember the plant, but I thought, well, I need a few little odd-shaped leaves. This still has the back, but I'm going to take those off. And I hope it's as easy as the other ones were. Oh, yeah, they come off pretty. Pretty easily. So if you have a bag somewhere up in your closet full of these plants that, you know, maybe the color of your decor changed and, you know, you just never got rid of them or you inherit them from a relative. <laughs> or you still have your decorations from the 80s. <laughs> Oh, see, that's kind of cool. You could use that, too. I'll save different sizes. Yeah, these are all fake. <laughs> these are all fake. Linda, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, my dogs had so much fun this afternoon. Those crazy squirrels were at it again. And my old dog, you know, Mr. Senior Citizen, he could barely get around. But, um, but boy, his adrenaline got pumping when he knew there was a squirrel out there. And he was standing there looking up and standing and looking up and then you know he just it reminded me of some little old man getting all frisky you know and then you know like falling over on his back like a turtle you know <laughs> and that's what my dog was doing he was like you know his hand his tongue is hanging out he's all excited because he's gonna go squirrel hunting with the rest of them <laughs> And, and with all of his excitement, he's going, you know, shifting his weight from leg to leg. And then all of a sudden, clunk, he just 
fell over and he's still wagging his tail and he's still, <laughs> you know, trying to get everything. He had a good time. He's going to sleep really good tonight. <laughs> Crazy old guy. The squirrel got away. They don't always get away, but this he got away this time. He jumped from one tree to the next tree and then up the pecan tree. And that was the end of that. Okay. So. Re-landscaping the backyard. <laughs> ooh, a garden. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, my gardening days are over for me. I don't. Um, a vegetable garden, forget it, because um, it gets so stinking hot here. I have to use so much water, and our water here in this town is so expensive that it's cheaper for me to buy <laughs> vegetables than to, than to grow them. <laughs> and then we have the moles. All they do is, and they take it out. The squirrels take it out. I've told you the story. I don't know how many times I've planted stuff. And all the little varmints get them. So I give up. I'm not going to, you know, buy all this money for raised beds and all this money for what. By the time I do all that, forget it. Just go buy some nice vegetables. And that way I won't be aggravated all the time. <laughs> because all they do is aggravate me. I feel like the dog chasing the squirrel. Okay, that might look kind of cute. I'm trying to see. Um, Kind of where I'm going to put them before I put paint and stuff. And I'm going to do, well, I'm going to do two things. I'm, I want to do some on, on some um, craft paper. And I'm going to do it with white. I'm just going to use white paint on craft paper. And then some of the cleanup. Or if I do stamping or if I get like the paint off of this, uh, if I have some on the front or the back, then on the side here, I have some black. That way I can clean off the white on here and I can start building up also pages for my black and white journals that I make. So I'm kind of doing a twofer here. Um, and I'm really not sure what I'm doing, but that's that's the plan so far craft craft paint i mean craft paper black paper and using nothing but white paint so that's the plan <laughs> um a few tomatoes peppers mm. Mm -mm -mm. well Another reason I don't even bother with the vegetables is because um, my husband can't hardly eat any of them. Most vegetables are very high either in starch or just literally sugar. And um, he can't eat them. There's hardly any vegetables he can eat. So I just figure why bother? I mean, if I just want some vegetables for me, um, that's it. But the only thing he can, he can eat is cabbage if it's green he can eat it cabbage um zucchini um uh what what did i say i remember what I, he can have kale um broccoli and that's about it you get out of that color scheme it makes his sugar and all he has to have is like maybe a you know, a serving of it with nothing else on it, just steamed. Oh, my goodness, the sugar just skyrockets. So that's the end of that. Your phone keeps buffering. Is anybody else's buffering? Are we okay? Because, you know, it could be me. I'm watching it through the, the live studio page, so I don't know what it looks like right now on YouTube. Everybody else okay? Oh, she's had a problem all day. Okay. All right. So I won't worry about that. We won't have, we won't, um, we won't have to change anything, but we, we hope it works out for Pope. I hope something, something changes for her. 
All right, so let's start. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but that never, ever stops me. <laughs> that, that doesn't stop me. And let's see what happens. And then I also have a couple of stamps that we might play with that might look kind of cool. But let's start off with the, um, the ferns because that was my first idea. And I'm going to just use, you know, my cheapo acrylic paint that I keep using all the time until I get that done. Oh, you've been at the sale all day? I didn't go to any of the sales today. I've been working on my, um, my the inside to my encaustic um, Asian journals that I'm making. But I needed a break from that. So... So this is my break from doing that. It was it's fun, but um, you know I'm the type I I I can't keep doing the same thing for like you know <laughs> all day. And I took breaks. I did a lot of things today that didn't have anything to do with the studio here. Well, I put a little bit too much paint. <laughs> Don't you think? All right. So let's. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, well, I don't think this is going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. I guess because this is, um, you know, it's soft, like almost like fabric. And then the ends to these are kind of stiff because these are plastic. We'll see. <laughs> this, this might be a short video. <laughs> it might be more more aggravating than relaxing. You know how that goes. What a mess. Okay, so to... Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing, guys, okay? So I want to pick up, I think, the white. And then pick up the ferns. Then I'll have a pattern of white ferns that I will pick up onto the craft card stock. I think that's the plan. I don't know if it's going to work. Not sure if it's going to work. Ooh. Black and white journal, anybody? Okay, I was running out of pages for that, for those journals. Uh-oh, but see, look at this. This is a mess. There was too much on there. I can see that already. I need to clean that off. I think I need to clean it off with, um, let me, whoa, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Let's see how much more I can pick up. Yeah, I put too much paint. Rule number one. I tell everybody, don't 
You put too much paint on your jelly plate. Of course, I do the same thing. I noticed the black isn't completely cleaned off. I guess I should have... <laughs> I should have cleaned my plate a little bit better. I forgot I played with um, black the last time we were together. All right. Let's just be done with this. Let's see. I think I'm just making a big mess right now. Oh, kind of cute. Kind of cute. This is definitely a multi <laughs> multitask project. I don't think this comes under the heading of relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, let's get some room over here. I think I'm going to need a lot of space for this project. Oh, okay, let's see. I can already tell that my plan is not going to work. <laughs> I can tell you that already. Well, at least my vision has a plan. So far, nothing looks the way I thought it was going to, but that's okay. That's okay. So that's better. Cool. Okay, just down there. Oh, part of the plant. Oh dear. Very cool. Okay, and I don't know if all is still wet enough, but the plan was. Then I pick up the white on the craft cardstock. And we shall see. Well, we got a little black with it, but I don't care. I like it. 
Okay, so it's not 100% my vision, but it's okay. I still like it. So now we have this. Let this dry. I'll put something behind that. I'm not sure what yet. I'm not sure what yet. I bet you I could get pick some of this up again. Also, there's a lot of paint there. Well, like I said, I put too, way too much paint. But I've also gotten like what? <laughs> Four different pages out of it already. Oh, it's picking up the black. But like I said, I don't care. I kind of like that. Yeah, there's some more. I don't mind that at all. Ta-da! Kind of cool. Oh. <laughs> Did so somebody want me? <laughs> oh, no. I know it'll do that. I, I'm just trying to figure out um, what I want. I don't really want a contrasting color because I don't. I'm trying to stay with black and white. And you know, and cardstock. That's why I don't. That's why I'm wondering what to put on there because I don't want. Um, I don't want any colors at all. That's not my goal in this. So, either way, it's got to dry. And then maybe all I'll do is. Uh, Put some clear, maybe some clear gesso on it and pick it up. Or matte medium or something like that. No color. Okay, so, so far, out of that one, we've pulled this and this and that and this. Woohoo! All right, so, I think what I'll do with this is I'm going to get, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Ow! That was my knee. Owie. I think I'll put some of the, um, some clear gesso and see what happens. Ugh. Whoa. A little too much already. Man, coming out. You know what? I'm beginning to think this is not my evening. <laughs> this may be a very short experiment. Because <laughs> when everything goes wrong from the very beginning, it's like, hmm, start to wonder. You start to wonder.
Hello, everybody that I haven't seen. <laughs> I need someone to talk to me. And tell me what's going on. Uh-oh. Well, that didn't work. That really didn't work. Hmm. I really didn't want to put black on there. So I'm trying to get rid of the black. Maybe I should just wash it off. Oh. I really, 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 really don't want to do that. But I may not have a choice. Either put the black, because I don't want any colors. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. Look at this mess. Hold on. I'm going to clean up this mess before I go any further, because then I'm going to have a double mess. I don't need a double mess. Here we go. Now, I hear what you guys are saying. I mean, I know how to pick it up. I just don't want to use anything but black and white. So um, that's my dilemma. I know there's a lot of other options to pick it up with, but interested in those options in this particular these particular so that's the problem the problem is i'm creating a problem for myself <laughs> but hey but hey you know if I can't cause a problem for myself, who can? Let's see. I just try to make life difficult for myself. Oh my goodness. Well, it still didn't pick it up. <laughs> but it's another one for the black and white. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, I'm gonna use everything, but um you guys hear what I'm coming from, right? I'm trying to stick, I mean, it's against my religion to clean up, you know, bits off of the, <laughs> off of here, but I don't want to be like chasing my tail all night long, trying to accomplish something.
from a base that isn't working with me. Right, 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 right. It's all right. So. And plus it'll help get all that other black that was on there that was messing up the white print on the craft card stock. That wasn't helping any. See, that's the problem when you have a vision. <laughs> when you don't have one, hey, you just go with it and play with it. But when you're trying for a certain look, then you mess yourself up. So to speak. So to speak. All right. So now I got to clean off this rare too. I don't want all this black stuff on here. Because I might have to go and use it. And I don't want it to mess up. If I'm going to use it to pull stuff down. You know, I'm making a mess for myself. <laughs> Maybe I should try this project when I'm not live. <laughs> This is not relaxing. Okay. Let's start all over. Let's get our white paint. Let's get our white paint. Don't put so much, Rosemary. Put a little bit on there first. That was your first problem. Way too much the first time. Way too eager. Let's use the dirty ones. We know they work. <laughs> we know it works. Right, so instead of doing the black, let's just go straight with, and it might be because this, um, maybe this cardstock's too stiff also, as far as um, picking this up, because some of this is kind of quite raised. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with excuses why, <laughs> why my vision is not happening. <laughs> of course, it can't be me. It's got to be everything else. <laughs> uh, <sighs> My autofocus is on. Okay, hold on. Let me see what I can do about that. If I can do anything about that. Well, that's...
kind of weird because it says the autofocus is off. So, yet another problem. It shouldn't be on. So it shouldn't be going back and forth. It's back and forth. It says it's off. Where's my black? Yeah, there's a whole bunch less paint, see? <laughs> Let me see if I can get all this in frames. Kind of, I got a mess here. I have a mess. See, I'm going to have keep having this issue because I'm doing this and then that's going to be dry and then it's not going to pick. I'm going to, I'm going to create the same, the same problem. I can already see I'm creating the same problem for myself all over again. You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. So let me put, <clears throat> what do I want to put? Let's just test it with this. Because if this doesn't work, I need to go to a different plan. Because <laughs> I don't want to keep trying this over and over and it's not going to do what I want it to do. I think I'm trying to recycle too many things at one time. I may not be able to do this with just the one color. I don't want I don't want black paint on there. Cause you know, how do I pick that up? I don't want to put black paint and I don't want any other color. So I think we have an issue. I know there's a remedy, but I just can't think of what it is right now. It might be one of those things that come to me in the middle of the night. Dummy, why didn't you do blah, blah, blah? Oh, yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? Oh. Okay, let me look up who's here. I haven't said hello to anybody. So I'll look at the top of the chat. I see Elaine. Hello. I see Elizabeth. Susan. Hey, Scotty. Dorinda. Hello. Linda. Tanya. 
Laura, Carla, Janice. Uh oh, Johnny's here. Shh. <laughs> okay, so I've got to think. what I want to do. Hey, Jennifer. What I want to do. Hmm. 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 Thirty-five more days. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. <laughs> Hmm. Mist with water. Does that work? I guess that would. Hmm. I think that would. Yeah, Elizabeth, I think you're right. That might be what I'll have to do. Is just print directly onto onto this instead of printing it from there. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I might have to have a drink of my tea while I'm drinking. Except my tea is cold tea today. <laughs> okay. The fabric on the leaves might be soaking too much and maybe skip printing the leaves individually and just try to pull a print off the plate afterwards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking that I was trying to do too many things at one time. And the fabric part, there might be a lot to that because if you look what I was able to pick up, it's these, which are the plastic, and these that are the fabric, I wasn't able to pick up. So what that really means, my brain's too tired to figure it out, but I know that's a fact. You know, sometimes you know facts, but you don't know <laughs> why, but that's a fact, that the, the plastic printed and picked up and the uh, the other did not with the same with the same one so um like I say my brain's so tired I don't I don't know in other words I don't know what to do with, with that information is what I'm trying to say so um uh. So, <laughs> uh. what about rolling paint over them after they are down? But how does that help me pull this print? Because that's underneath the um. That's underneath the plant because this is this is the real print I'm really after. All of this stuff is just incidental. I don't want to waste, and it looks kind of cool, and I can put it in my black and white print uh, journal. But I'm really trying to create is my craft a craft um, journal with my craft paint 
with white stamping on it. That's like my real goal. And that's the one thing I'm not able to even achieve remotely. So at least not with these particular plants. <clears throat> so um so and I, what what happened with the black? I don't remember what happened when you did the black and white. Did that not pick it up? Oh yeah, it didn't pick it up. Um I already forgot that. <laughs> so So, so there, I'm just thinking out loud. It may not sound like it, but I'm thinking. So for now, maybe I need to pull these up with some tape so that I can at least have the look. What do you guys think? So I don't lose this completely. At least I have a couple of things and I could always put that in the journal in some way, shape or form. And this is going to dry out while I'm thinking I better clean it off or I'll really have a mess. Johnny, you and your scanner. Yeah, yeah, just because you have a good scanner. Keep showing off. Just keep showing off. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Maybe because I don't have a stinking good scanner. Did you ever think about that? Huh, 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 huh? Did you think about that? No. Oh, yeah, you did. I forgot. You did think about that. So, well, in a way, this is all Tamar's fault. Are you guys familiar with Tamar? She's around at the different, is she here tonight? Oh, I hope she's not here tonight. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, she also, I know, I'm surprised she hasn't says, why don't you zoom in more so that we can see more detail? Shut up. Anyway, this is all Tamar's fault because indirectly, she inspired me. Okay. These are obviously all ferns. And she inspired me because look what she sent me. Look at this beautiful book. Isn't that gorgeous? And so I've been thinking about ferns all day long, ever since yesterday. I got this yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. <laughs> and all I've been thinking about, look at how beautiful. All I've been thinking about. Oh, no, she's here. Oh, my God. <laughs> now I can't talk about her. <laughs> I was going to blame you for this whole fiasco tomorrow. <laughs> I'm here trying to jelly print with um, ferns. Oh, man, I can't even blame her now. I swear. <laughs> anyway, she sent me this beautiful book. And so I've been like thinking about ferns, 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 ferns. And then when I went up to go look at my flowers, my, um, you know, fakey ones, I found all these ferns. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be kind of cool to do something with the fakey ferns? And that's how all this thought process started. So it's really all her fault that I can't get this done. And then it's like, the double whammy. I don't know. It's more like the triple whammy because she was so sweet. Look, not one, not two, but three. Aren't they gorgeous? Anyway, I looked these up and then I contacted her. You didn't tear the outside. I mean, the insides out yourself, did she? Goes, no, I got them that way because I looked these up and these are like from the late 18, mid to late 1800s. 
And um, you can't even find the books, but people are selling the plates of, because inside were beautiful um, pictures of ferns. And um, they go for like about $25 for one page from this book of the picture of the fern. And um, they do have reproductions and it's just a paperback, but uh, maybe the inside, you know, is the same as far as all the pictures and stuff like that. But they're not, you know, you know what I mean? They're just copies of all the stuff, but still it might be kind of cool. So I'm going to go check it out. But the reprint, which was done in well, 2000 something. And it, like I said, it's just a paperback. That is 40 bucks, you know. So anyway, yeah. So, but all of that does not help me figure out how to accomplish my goal, which, <laughs> as we all know, is not happening. It's just not happening. Oh, it's all Tamar's fault. All her fault. So. Oh, so I'm going to try and take them off with the tape at least so I can like somehow put them in my journal. Let me find the tape. And this probably won't work too. <laughs> I mean, some days are not your days. You know, some days are, and some days aren't. Because I had some other tape before. I guess it was just way too cheap. It wouldn't even pull anything up. So I've used up all my cheap tape, and I got a little bit more expensive tape. Not too much more expensive. <laughs> Pretty much just as cheap. <laughs> So, oh, this came up. Oh, this will look still cool. Yeah. Still a little something, something doesn't like the fern, but you know, it's somewhere. I don't want to get, I must try and get that other fern off to look like a fern. Now let's see what happens. It was a nice day today. I almost did the citrusol, but then I got distracted and did other projects. So if it's nice tomorrow, maybe I'll do some of the citrusol. Just because we can't. Oops, how come that's all like that? Oh, oh, because of that. Never mind. I did some more cyanotype. Um, yesterday, and uh, next week I'll start because that was like an old batch of paper I had that I had made a while back. So I want to use them because it don't it doesn't last like forever. The potency kind of diminishes, so um. I wanted to use them up. And then next week I'll start a bat, new batch for 
for June's kit. So I don't fall behind. Okay, so we got a little bit, a little bit there, a little bit there. That's just wet. I accidentally put my on there. Okay, next, let's try and get this one. Okay. Yay, we got some birds. Okay, so I got to figure out what plan B is going to be now. Because plan A obviously is not going to work. Not the way I wanted it to anyway. Oops. Da -da. This one looks kind of cute. Well, that doesn't exactly look like a fern. Well, close up it does, but I'm looking at the monitor. It doesn't on the monitor. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe we can pick that one up and see what happens with that one. Okay, let me see if I can get the rest of this off just with the tape. Just halfway clean. Halfway clean. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm not going to frustrate myself trying to. Maybe if I come back with a fresh, a fresh outlook to it another day, maybe something will like a light bulb will go off or something. Do this, that, and that, and it'll work. Oh, okay. All right, so let's see. Plan B, or is it is it D now? <laughs> but it 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 could have been kind of sort of a a cute idea. This still came out looking kind of cool. So let's, I have some steps. Let, let's, um, let's see what happens. Let's see if it works. Just putting paint down. Let me put it on this side. I'm right here. I'm going to stamp over here. Are we in frame? Yeah, we're in frame. Let's see. Sort of like how I do the block when we, you know, do the, the block prints. But see, those are pretty bold. Or I should say thick, you know, the actual print themselves. But like when you're using just regular, regular stamps, um, it's not as thick. Sometimes it doesn't pick up as well. But we'll try. Let's let's just try and see what we'll let her. Okay, here are, let's see how this works, if it works. You got this stamp here. Okay, so it shows, but again, like I say, it's so... Thin, you don't see it too, too much. But now, if I were to pull this with the black, that's going to look super cool. But then that's going to be for my black and white journal. And I'm really looking for something for my craft, craft journal. <laughs> and like, okay. What journal were you working on? See, I could cut those out and they would look, they would make some cute tabs on a, uh, on a craft nature journal. That would look cute. So basically, instead of getting prints from my craft journal, I guess I'm getting prints from my black and white. <laughs> all is not lost. See, all is not lost. See, that'll look cool. But 
in the wrong journal. Okay. <laughs> in the wrong journal. Let's find another stamp. See, a little thicker stamp. Maybe some birdies. Let's see what it does with the birdies. Load it up a little bit. Oh, those look kind of cute. Kind of cute. Better get on the list for the black and white journals. The next batch is going to be cool. You're watching it right now. Ta da! <laughs> okay, let's see what else prints. And being that those are going to be in the journal. I better switch this this way because that is how they're going to go in the journal. So Elaine, I thought, did you already get one? Elaine, am I getting you mixed up with something else you got? Yeah, I can't keep up with, I can't keep up with you guys. Sure, anybody want one, let me know. Don't tell me here, because I'll forget. <laughs> Either um, contact me on an Etsy or email me. Most of you have all my info or Facebook, wherever you can find me. I'm everywhere. Oh, look how pretty. That one's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That one's pretty cool. I'll make another one of those. 
and uh, let's not let's uh, let's let's just keep going and then the ones i like the best i'll go back and do some more oh not another time Look how cool these are. And anybody that um, just recently had contacted me for the... Um, industrial kits the past few days those have already been put together and they're out so hopefully you will get them in time to play with us together uh, halfway decent Oops, I have a little off center. We'll fill in. Yay! Okay. Where's my paper? <laughs> yeah, I'm making some more. I am making some more. I think they're fun. Well, yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> and I think they look really super cool when they're done. I have, though, run out of all of, like, some of, you know, I had, like, maybe four different pages in there with um, my leftover pieces of um, black and white scrapbook paper. I don't have any of that left. It's all gone. And I haven't been out to even look for stuff. I know that our, um, I went to go grocery shopping and our Hobby Lobby was open. And when I drove by, oh my goodness, the place was packed. When I say packed, I mean packed. And I thought, I'm not going in there. Ladies are crazy enough when. There's a sale, let alone when they haven't been able to buy in a while. Nope. I'll wait a little while till they all get it out of their system. I'll go. <laughs> okay, now this night, being that I'm not doing what I planned in the first place, this might be kind of cool to try and pull this up with a different color. Let's do that. Let's just go to let's just go off the rails because I'm not doing what I wanted to do anyway. So ooh. Let's see, what color do we want to put on there? I think I think. What? I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm going to try and keep it kind of on the neutral in case I want to incorporate it into that nature journal that I have envisioned. <laughs> that so far is not working. Um, Uh, 
I think I'll get a brown because I'm trying. I'm still gonna try and incorporate if I can. I don't want to work. Incorporate into the pages of the craft one. I'm still trying to get some stuff for that page. <laughs> Starting to feel hopeless, but I'll keep trying. That's all you can do. Try, 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 try. And I'll just put this on a, just a regular piece of paper in case it doesn't work. And if it does work, well, hey, it's still paper we use in our journals. So. Um, this state, <laughs> this state didn't give a hoot what you did. The only thing that they restricted mandatory was, um, the restaurants were closed. Restaurants and schools were closed. Um, under the, than that they say follow the guidelines of the um you know just the, the like the overall national guidelines but specific to our state you know they yeah hey what happened you can't even see them uh oh Okay, what happened to them? You guys saw them there, right? <laughs> you know, sometimes things just don't work out no matter what you do. It's not my night tonight, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I usually have fun. So, um... So for like maybe a, it was maybe for I think it was for four weeks. Non-essential things. It, it it wasn't like a law or anything, and they weren't gonna arrest you or anything. But non-essential things were asked to close down, and so they did, for the most part. Um, but as of what was it May? What's today? Last Monday, yeah, it's been a week already. Last Monday, um, they basically opened. It looks like everything's open, and each place kind of like does size of what you know. So when you go somewhere, you're not really sure what you're supposed to do because every place is different. So like, um, I didn't go, but a friend of mine was telling me that she went to, um, where was it she went? I can't remember now. Oh, what was it? Might have been the dog pet place because they were all closed. The, um, you know, like, um, what is that called? Pet Smart and places like that. You had to get your stuff like at Walmart. If you needed stuff for your pets. But anyway, they opened that up. And um, you could only go down you know, the aisles in one direction. And you had to keep six feet apart and stuff like that. But I think what's scary. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give opinions. What's scary to me is um and I'm just gonna put it out there. It's scary to me people who 
are defiant, not just like, I don't want to do that. And I'll do my own thing, but are kind of like in your face defiant. I find that very intimidating. It's almost like people are out there kind of sort of wanting to start, you know, an issue with you. And um, I just find that very intimidating. I tell my husband, you better stay home. My husband is not always the person to keep his mouth shut. And I told him, now is the time to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> You're not the young whippersnapper you used to be. <laughs> and we're in a state that allows hidden guns. <laughs> you may shoot your mouth off. They'll shoot off a gun. You better keep your mouth shut. <laughs> so our joke in the family, this is our joke. So my husband has a, a liver condition and his doctors literally told him not to leave the house, not to, to mingle with people, um, not to have people over. They, he's basically told him to really super, super quarantine himself. All right. So, so the joke is I go grocery shopping or go shopping like, you know, maybe once a week or every 10 days or something like that. So I go there. Hey, okay, honey, I'm going out there. I'm going out for the family. I'm going to go forage and see what I can find. And I give the, give them a hug, give the dogs a hug. <laughs> I hope I make it home. <laughs> and then I leave the house all filled with drama, you know. <laughs> I, I, I'm going out there to get your biscuits, little doggies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's, I mean, you know, we can all laugh about it, but there's a, a level of truth to it. You know, that's where irony comes from, is from the truth. So it's like, oh my gosh. I'm trying to read. That's why I'm, I'm quiet. <sighs> so I just, you know, my husband and I, you know, we just make light of it, you know, as much as as much as we can, you know, because you just, you know, you know how it is, but you can't change. It just it all depends how your reaction to it is. And we're very fortunate in in a lot of respects, you know, because <laughs> we're fortunate my husband's ill. <laughs> and so he stays home. <laughs> I'm fortunate that, you know, I can work from home. Um, but, you know, not everybody's that fortunate. There's a lot of people that have to go out there and and be out there. And everybody's situation is different, of course. You know, some people live in a situation where, you know, things run smoothly. And then, you know, I'm sure the bigger the city you live in, you know, the more the more um, chaotic it might be. I live, I mean, compared to places I live, I live in a small town. I call it a small town. We have 100,000 population, but it's kind of spread out. and so. It, it still has, this, to me, a small town feel to it, you know, so it's not that big of a deal. But I can't even imagine living in a big city, you know, going through all this. That would really be a mess.
my husband, because he's from New York City, he calls our town Mayberry. He says, this is like living in Mayberry. Everybody knows each other or they pretend they know each other. <laughs> For the most part, people are very friendly. They don't want your help, though. That's one thing we found curious. Um, other places where we lived, you know, my husband was the type that because he has a background in, um, you know, plumbing, electronics and, um, you know, um, electrical and, you know, all kinds of stuff. If people had, you know, any kind of problems, you know, he'd always offer his help and he never charged anybody for anything because, you know, all those, you know, repair people like that, they really do cost a lot. And, you know, not everybody can afford that. So he would offer, you know, and um, and here when we moved here, he did the same thing. And the response was almost like, did I ask for your help? <laughs> In other ways, they're friendly. But when you offer help. They're like they're offended or something. It's very strange. I mean, we've been here. How long have we been here? I don't remember. Too long. Um, like, how long have we been here? I forget what year we moved here. Anyway, we've been here over 10 years, 12 years, maybe something like that. And I still haven't figured, I haven't figured that part out yet. Still haven't figured that one out. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know what to do next. Let's see. Do I have any other stamps that are interesting? That one's not going to show up good. It's too, too thin. It's going to get all filled up with the paint. That's not going to work. Not with acrylic. Ooh, this might, might be too small, but let's try it. Let's try it. What the heck? Let's try it. I scared my husband the other day. <laughs> there was a this dog that was running down the alley. We've seen him before. We know where he lives. And um, and then these girls, which it's their dog, we know that too. Um, they come running down the alley and chasing the dog. And they finally catch the dog. And then um, they're walking it back. And my husband was already in the backyard playing with our dogs. So my husband strikes up a conversation with them. And so then after the conversation's over and I see that they've left, I go up to him and I said, Richard, were you six feet away from those girls? He goes, what do you mean? I said, were you six feet away from those girls? I know he wasn't. And I said, um, you know, how many of these young people don't follow the guidelines? And there you are, you know, co-mingling, <laughs> co-mingling with these girls. He, he looks him like gulp. <laughs> I was just kind of sort of messing him, but kind of the truth, too. I mean, the doctor tells him, don't, you know, don't be around people. And there he is talking to young people that run all over the place, you know. <laughs> so I got him in trouble. So he's, he goes, you, you really think you're like, I said, well, I don't know. That's why you have to be precautious, especially you. Uh-oh, that didn't show up. How come red? Oh, I must have done something with red on that one. Oh, my goodness. Red's coming out. What did I do? 
you know, guys, <laughs> I know you guys can tell this is not my night <laughs> for, <laughs> for anything. Nothing is going right. What the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what exactly I got accomplished today. I gotta make myself feel better because I was busy all day long. What the heck did I get done? Let's see. What did I do? Well, at home, I got laundry done. I made breakfast for the family because, you know, the doggies like their eggs too. So I made breakfast for everybody. I got all of my signatures done, or put together, I should say, organized for my um, encaustic journals I'm doing. Okay, I got that done. What else did I do? What else did I get done? I have no idea. I'm beginning to think <laughs> that I thought I got more done than I actually did. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oops. I organized some things. You know how that goes. You, you finish a project and you got to put stuff away. Like I had to put all, except for the stuff I'm going to use when I'm showing you guys, you know, the tutorials on the industrial kits. I had to put all that stuff away. You know, I had, ugh, I had stuff everywhere because you saw how much stuff those of you that got those those kits already you know how many different things and those came out of different piles <laughs> so I said okay this is done I'm not making any more kits because I lay I keep them out in this in an open area just in case you know some stragglers come in and say oh can I have a kit and I go sure because it's all sitting right there well, now, you know, that we're actually going to do it, I'm already putting together the next month's kit. So I need to put that stuff out on the table where all the other stuff was. So, of course, I have to pick everything up, put everything away, put them in their proper homes. Ooh, this came out cool. Put everything in their proper homes and, um, and then bring out the next crop of stuff. So I got that done. I felt good about that. Okay, let's see how this looks with the tape. What, what do I do with the tape? What do I do with the tape? Uh-oh. See, I can't even see that. <laughs> I don't think I went anywhere. Where did I go? Oh, here it is. So anyway, I got all that stuff put away. I'm happy about that. And I have all my papers that I... Oh, speaking of which, how many of you guys did your grunge papers already? Huh, 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 huh. Has anybody done their paper shop? I need to know. Come on, fess up. How many have done it? Inquiring minds need to know. Uh-oh, it's got red on there, but it still looks kind of cool. I still kind of like it.
Faye hasn't done it yet. I like the yet part. That kind of looks like maybe she's going to. Are you afraid of boiling, Jennifer? Are you afraid of boiling? You can do it without boiling. It just, it kind of just lacks that little crunch factor. It's not as crunchy. And it doesn't move around. The color doesn't move around on the paper as much without that, you know, movement and boiling. Me, cute. Um, Arlene, yes, do not get speedball. If you have speedball in your cart, click delete immediately. Do not pass go. Just go. Now, Jelly Arts to me is the most flexible one. The other one, what's the other brand? Not Jelly Art, but oh, I forgot the name of the other brand. Um, it's a lot stiffer. I don't know if that's good or bad. I just, it's just a fact. So I don't know if that affects the printing. I'm just partial to the Jelly Art one. But other people in the chat probably have an opinion. <laughs> and you know us. We're not shy about sharing our opinions. Oh, well, that doesn't show up too well. Can't hardly see it. Let's see. Okay, gel press. That's the other name. I couldn't remember that. That one's a little stiffer than this one. That I do know. Because I have a friend that has one. And it's um, it's not as pliable. It's pretty, you know. And I don't know if that's good or bad. I'll show you how my other um, papers dried. The ones that we boiled together for the industrial one. They came out pretty cool. Because every batch comes out different. That's what's fun about, you know, everything that has to do with mixed media. It, you know, it's very rare you, you duplicate anything perfectly. And, our, you know, I'm sure we really don't want to. We like everything to be pretty unique. Um, put that right there. Let me go get them. So... I think, uh-oh, maybe I mixed them up together. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
Okay, those are from, I know those are from the original one. Because see, one of them has more of a brown. See, the first batch I did, I, I put more, more of a brown tone to it. And then I think I did mix them all up. And so this was the first one. It is more brown. And this is the second one. I put more gray into it. So it gave it a whole different look. So, oh yeah, here's these papers. So, so I think most of these right here was from my original one. Let me think. Yeah. Oops, maybe not. I'm all confused now. I do know that this for sure was all the original one. And this is the one that we did together. And I had a few pieces of vellum. And they came out really cool. It came out really, really dark, obviously. And then this was from the, the one we did together. And this one is the old one. Because I remember we didn't get any red. Remember? The second time around. If you remember. So this is from the first round. And there's some more of the vellum. And then these came out a little dark, kind of dark. And this was just a cleanup when I was laying stuff on top of that, but I thought it came out kind of cool, so I'm going to use that. And, um, And then I had some leftover papers that um, I just had. So after the boil, I just put these in the, in the water that was left over and let it soak in there overnight. But you can see the difference how when you just let something sit in the water and soak, it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, sort of all the same same hues and everything but when you do the the boiling it moves the water around and you get more of a for lack of a better word more of a marble look to it and that's what I kind of like about when you when you get the um when you boil the stuff and this was on the batch we did together and so were these now, see, if you just let these soak, it's just all going to be one solid color. So this was all from the ones that we did together. This was some something else that was not done that night. That... And then this is what I had on the bottom of the pan when I was showing you the um, the different papers. I was sitting them on top of this piece of paper, and of course it absorbed a lot of the a lot of the color. And there you go. So um, this is how these turned out. These papers. Cool. Look at that. That one really got really, really grunged up. I put a lot in that pile, didn't I? Now, I had put the, the cards that, um, the printouts 
And because I laid them on the paper face down on purpose, they transferred the pictures onto here as it was drying. And I laid, when I was drying the papers, I also got some of those cards, those printouts, and laid them on here. So those transferred on that also. Um, I better start reading. <laughs> um, Kathleen was napping. Do you need dye or can you use alcohol ink? Well, you can use anything you want, but it depends on the look that you're looking for. Um, I don't know what the alcohol ink will do when you put it in water and you boil it. I've never done it. So you need to report back to us and let us know. <laughs> report back, let us know. That's all I can say. And I put two little, or three little pictures on there. And it transferred onto there also. And then these were just put on the bottom for me to pick up on the bottom of the pan when I was looking at my papers. So I had to include those, of course. And then the file folder, it really got dark. And then here's the, the large envelope. So they came out pretty cool. Lots to play with, that's all I can say. I can't complain and say I don't have enough to make a journal with. <laughs> all right. Well, I consider my attempt a total bust, but I did get a couple of, a couple of, um, stuff I can use for my black and white so maybe it wasn't a total bust but uh, I learned I have to figure out a different plan on how to get the look I'm going for because this is not going to work yep yep and yep oh well what can I do I got a few stamps done. <laughs> I got a few stamps done. What else did I get done on my white? With the white. I think that's it. That was it. That was it. Other than that, I didn't get nothing done. Of my original plan. And that still isn't what I was looking for. <sighs> I 
I would think it would take a whole lot of alcohol ink to show. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't even think alcohol and water, I don't even see how that'll work, to tell you the truth. It'll be interesting. What is Regis? What's that? Somebody I don't know? Thank you, Laura. I only got three stars. Three out of how many? <laughs> oh, it evaporate. Yeah, I didn't think about that. But I'm thinking, um, Susan, you have so many different, or at least you or Betty, have a lot of different sprays and stuff. I mean, I use some of those distress inks and threw them in the water. I'm sure you got other kind of inks you could put in there. The inks I used in the water, I think they were the distressed. Uh, oh, wait. Let me, I better not say because... I don't know. I'm pretty sure those were the distress inks. Yeah, they were the distress inks. And then I had homemade inks that I threw in, in the pot, in the mix. And then I um, threw in some of the, the Ritz dye in there, too. So um, let's see. Who's asking this? Let me look again. Oh, Elaine. Elaine, did you see the video when we did the, the grunging? Because I used a lot of different things together. I just threw everything in. Um, to let you know that there's a whole bunch of stuff you can use. So. Oh, okay, that's what you can use. You can use your distress inks. There you go. You're all set. I can't remember which colors I threw in. If you have the, okay, here's a vintage photo. I also used the, um, what was the one? Oh, the the walnut stain. You know, that gets the darkest. That's the cool color. That's what the cool kids use. And I also have wild honey. Now, see, any one of those or a combination of those would look make your papers look really cool. I think, I think, I think. Sandra needs stores to open. <laughs> yeah, Susan's open. She's open for business. Yeah, Faye, exactly. That's a good idea. I've done that also to do my papers. It's really cool. But a lot of the people here... You know, they don't even do um, eco dyeing, so they wouldn't have leftovers. So I was just kind of showing them how to make their own goopy sludge to, to do their papers in. Buku. <laughs> I like the way she spells it, too.
Oh no, don't get me started on alcohol inks. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's what we should have been playing with on a jelly plate was with the alcohol inks in these. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what that would look like. Uh-oh. Rabbit hole, rabbit hole. <laughs> What did? Hottie, what dried your plate out? Oh, you seem, I've used mine lots of times. It didn't dry mine out. Um, what kind of a jelly plate do you have? Do you have the jelly art or the other kind? Because you guys have been having a lot of trouble with your jelly plates. That's all I can say. Let me get this out of the way. Yeah, Faye, I sell it too. And I like my leftovers. They're the best ones because they're a mess. Hmm. Not in that respect, anyway. <laughs> I have other issues, but not that issue. Where are my inks? I'm going to do something really quick before you guys go. Before I let you go. And before you go, go. Let me go put this away. It's been a while since I planted the alcohol eggs, and I already forget how I did it. I mean, I tried various ways until I liked the process, and now it's been so long since I did it, I forget. I forget which way I liked it. <laughs> do you guys do projects like that sometimes? You finally figure out, oh, that's how to do it. I like that. And then you wait so long, you forget how you did it. That's my problem. Okay, so what is it exactly I want to do? Let me go get one of the ones that I like the way it turned out. Let me look at it. I need to reanalyze it.
Remember we did these? These are done with the alcohol inks and the jelly plates. I'm trying to remember what I did first. Whatever I did, I'm going to try and do it with the leaves. So I'm looking at these to try to refresh my memory. <laughs> Just trying to refresh my memory. Okay, so I think what I had done originally is I put down... I put down the stencil, so this will be in place of the stencil. Let's not get some that are already going to give me problems by wanting to flip around. Okay, so let's pretend these are my stencils, but see they're not lying flat, so I already see it's going to be a problem. Because the because it's going to seep underneath it, I already see the problem. So do I continue seeing the problem? <laughs> and defying the problem? And giving myself another headache? Eh, let's just go for it. Let me find my different greens that I have. Different shades of green. Greens and blues. Blues and greens, clover, mermaid, aqua. There's some green. I don't know why it's so hard to find green. Oh, this one isn't even open yet. Okay, that's open. I have to open this one. Put down a layer of gel medium first. Are these silk ferns? No. Okay. Well, the matte medium isn't going to 
change. Uh, I don't know. Let's just do this first. Let me make my mistake. <laughs> no one to blame but myself. Because you know what's going to happen. It's going to be a total mess. Let me see if I can get these to stick down any. You have some very... <laughs> these are these are plastic. <laughs> Let's see if I can get these to lay flat or stick or do something. Oh, the gel will hold the... Oh. I get you. That makes sense. Okay, let me put some down. But I don't know what that's gonna do to the to the to the what you call it. Do I even have any? Oh, that's gesso. Hold on. Let me see what I have. Oh. I hardly ever use any kind of um that's a gloss. I don't want a gloss at all. That matte medium. I mean I, I, it's not matte medium, it's gloss. And I don't and what's this? Ah, it's gloss too. Ah. Paste. I don't want paste. Uh oh. See, it's my it's my supply situation. <laughs> see, my supply situation is not helping any. Let me see what's over here. No, no, and no. In the transfer, that doesn't help. Nope. I don't got none that isn't um, a gloss. And I don't want gloss. Any other suggestions? Can I put just... um? see what is this yeah I'm gonna use that nope 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 I don't know will Mod Podge work Mod Podge work Faye, could I use that? Yeah, I don't have any. Well, we're starting all over, Faye. My, my original project is down the tube. I'm not even going to try that. But I played around with... Um, with the alcohol inks with a stencil and I liked the outcome and so I was just going to play with the ferns with the alcohol inks um, and play around with them but they're not this isn't laying flat I could just move on I mean just because you know it does I don't have to you know what I mean it was a plan, but, you know, it doesn't have to be done. Oh, my goodness. It must be getting cold outside. My heater actually went on. Last night, it went all the way down to the 40s. Let me see if your summit just lays a little bit flatter. You're going to use alcohol. Yeah, I do that all the time, Sandra. 
that's how I did these. These were on my jelly plate with alcohol inks. Okay, let's just, let me just find one halfway flat one. Or maybe, I don't know. See, I just try to do difficult things. That's all. I'm not happy just doing the regular the regular thing, I guess. That's my problem. See, they were sticking a little bit better before I put the paint on them, before I used them on a print. Okay, so let's just leave that. Let's just say we're going to do that one. And maybe when I drop the inks, I'll, you, I'll put something there to hold it down for a second or two. Why don't we do that? Maybe that's a plan. And see, this was sticking better before there was paint on it. That's another issue. <laughs> that's a whole other issue now. Maybe I should go find me that doesn't have any paint. Oh, all these already have paint. I used all of them. Oh, well. Okay, so that's what I'll do with that particular thing. I'll just hold that down a little bit when I do the ink over here. And I'll do the same thing with that one. So here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. Get my lids off. Hope they don't fall over. <laughs> like I just dropped that one. <laughs> the lid was already off. They did not know that. Where did it land? I don't know where it land. Okay. I thought it dropped ink. It didn't. So that's good. Miracle. Well, I can't get that one open. Yeah, I do have issues tonight. And I usually don't care about my issues, but, you know, there's, a, there's quite a few of them. <laughs> there have been quite a few. Now let's see what happens. No, see, it's not going to work. But we kind of sort of already knew that, right? Well, let's just keep going. We made a mess already. Let's just let's just enjoy the process. <laughs> let's enjoy the process. Did you see all the mess I did before, Mary? It was a total mess.
So then what we did is we picked those up, laid those down. Because, of course, we can't waste anything. All right. So then we let this dry. And I can already see there's absolutely nothing there. But, you know, what can I say? Then we dried this. Okay, at least we tried. <laughs> That way you want to see when someone asks, um, have you ever tried blah, 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 blah? Yes, it does not work. So you've got your little, um, your little answers there in your arsenal. So then, that's green, so now i got to go pick a color that I'm going to use for the background. So a little bit of green is left, will show up. We don't have much of a choice. And still going with a little bit of my theme as much as possible. Because I do try to salvage one step. Whoops. What's going on? I hear things falling. I do try to salvage stuff. <laughs> I use everything. Let's see what happens. Arlene, there are two conventional wisdom answers to your question. Don't ever clean it. And then clean it with the sanitizer or oil or something. People have all kinds of theories of how to clean it. Baby wipes. You know, even if you just got something with some water. If it hadn't dried, you know, completely. But if you're going for, you know, interesting pools, usually you like to leave all of your crusty bits on there. See, not too bad. This one, because this was the fabric one. Soaked up all of the, you can see how it soaked it all up. So with the, it's all on here. And of course the, the plastic one didn't. So it left a little bit of a print. So it still came out okay. So. But anyway, so as you can see, you know, the, the ink. Well, mine's such a mess anyway. But the ink, the ink doesn't do anything to it at all. I've used it a lot. Now, like I said, all of these are done with the alcohol ink. 
and then picked up with the acrylic paint all of these. So, but obviously, whatever you're using needs to lay flat. And these were not lying flat, so I didn't get a good print. This was lying pretty flat, but because of what it is, it just sucked up all of the um, all of the ink. So there you go. And then you have these from, you know, picking up. the ink on the top which kind of looks a little bit like a like a watercolor it gives you stuff to play with especially if you're going to use them just for um you know the background for, for something else that you're going to do and you're okay so so there <laughs> Next. Nothing has worked tonight. That's okay. Excuse me. I have to have a drink. This is a good lesson that not everything that we try is going to be successful. But even when it's not successful, it's a learning experience, right? We know why, you know, something works, and then we find out why something doesn't work. That's what I say. Well, we got the alcohol ink out. Ouch, ouch. We have the alcohol inks out. Why don't I go get a couple of stencils and do a few of those, and hopefully we can at least say something worked tonight. Let's see. Where are my stencils? Oh, here's some. Here's some. Ooh, I haven't used this one in a long time. Yeah, let's bring out the stuff I haven't used in a while. Oh, very cool. Oh, I haven't used this one with the alcohol ink ever. Okay. Haven't done the girls. I haven't done the girls. <clears throat> so. What if you seal? Yeah, I think that would probably work, Teresa. I think that might be my um, my project um, tomorrow is, and I I have some sealer too, just regular old sealer, and I think maybe I'll just spray them tomorrow outside, and hopefully the um, alcohol ink will just beat off of them and not soak them up. So I'm gonna try that tomorrow. I have not given up yet. 
It has not gotten the best of me. All right, so we already got the greens. Let's just go with the greens and see what happens. Let's just say the girls are green with envy. And a little bit of blue green. Ah. Try that. I'll just put the same yellow, see what happens. Oops, they didn't lay flat. Oh, well. <laughs> We're going to have a crinkly face. For a background. Let's see. Okay. Who wants to know what? I saw the fern one. Where is that lady's eye? Where's her eye? She only has one eye. You guys are obsessed with her eye. Okay. I'm supposed to ask answer the question about where her eye is. This is the overwhelming question you guys have for me. Where is her eye? Oh my gosh. Ladies, I did not design the stencil. Okay, this is called art. I did not design the stencil. The real question would be like, what's wrong with her nose? Where are her lips? You know what I'm saying? 
Where's her teeth? I mean, you know. Please. Please. All right. So the ladies didn't come out so well. I didn't put enough um, alcohol. I needed more alcohol. But they're still kind of cool. Let's try one that I've used before that I know works. And see what happens. I've used this one. I think I want to get some. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, what other questions? Okay, what's Popo complained about now? <laughs> yeah, she's a creepy people. There you go. When, when I'm fanning and looking up, nobody ever asks anything. And then when you know I'm doing something, then you're asking me questions. <laughs> Maybe I am a sassy pants tonight. go find another color. We've seen this enough. Hmm. Okay. Now, hold on to your girdle, Mary. I know you're going to get excited. Yes, the last of my gold here. Oops, maybe too much. Maybe I had more gold than I thought.
I think you guys have serious lag issue. I'm busy and now you're asking me questions again. I'm sure she did. I do not doubt you for a moment. Look how pretty. I guess I'm just going to have to get me a, a, a fern stencil. <laughs> Let's see, what other stencils? I did this one before. I really like how this one came out. Let's see. Ooh. This one isn't even open. Question. No, Kathleen, I'm still playing with the inky ink. This is the uh, this is all the icky one. The marabou. And unfortunately, alcohol ink just lasts forever. You use it and use it and use it, and it, it, it's still there. Um, do you only put one color down? No, I put like four. Oh, when? Of the alcohol ink? The alcohol ink, I put various colors at one time. It was another technique I was doing that just was not, Marabou was not cooperating at all. It, well, it still is, even when I do this, it's very sticky and it stinks. I'm just not a fan of Marabou. I would, I would recommend people just go buy the Ranger one 
or even the uh what's the name of that other brand i can't think of it right now it'll come to me there's another brand What's the name of that other brand? Ah, can't think of it right now. Yeah, exactly. If you if you if you have a speed ball, <laughs> buy Marabou because they go together hand in hand in my rating system <laughs> so true susan they might be the same company who knows Dino Waverly and Seth Afner. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't ever watch Dina Waverly at all. I mean, I know who she is. Ooh, how pretty. Yeah, I do too. One of them is American and one of them isn't. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> and I forget which is which. that Ooh, butterscotch butterscotch and I'm using both the inks because I find uh, when I mix them together well 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 when I mix them together I can halfway um you know stand the marabou And when I complained about the smell and the stickiness and all that stuff to where I bought it, the response was, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. So I thought, oh, well, I'm not buying from you anymore. So much for your customer service. All right. Let's find another color of paint to pick that up with. You know, <coughs> actually, white picks it up really nice. Let's put some <coughs> white on it. See that? <coughs> oh, 
It's very strong. It's starting to get to me. Oh, oh. I took in a, I inhaled <laughs> the, the alcohol, I think. I think I opened my big mouth and inhaled. <laughs> oh, what are we seeing here? Waverly has, okay, Waverly has the red hair. Okay. She's somewhere from, from Europe. Is she from England or Ireland or somewhere? Okay. And Dina. Okay. So, so how can we remember that? Or how can I remember that? Let me think. Maybe like ra raving long hair. Something like that. I don't know. Did I, did I dry that? Raving long hair. Maybe that'll help me remember. Raving long hair. Now, see, because I get them both confused, so I guess I can gossip because I don't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but a friend of mine took a class from one of them. I don't know which one, so I'm not accusing either one, but it is one of them. I just don't know who it is. Um, took a, a workshop, you know, a live workshop with them. And... Outside of talking to them during the physical workshop, she would not talk to anybody. She'd leave the room. She didn't want to be disturbed. Like during breaks and lunch and stuff like that, she would not give you the time of day because you weren't paying for her time during that time. And then when it was workshop time, she, you know, she was there and she'd ask her answer questions and stuff. But other than that, she she would she was not a nice person. <laughs> so I don't know who it was. So, you know, don't quote me who it was, because I honestly because I don't know one from the other. When my friend told me, I, you know, I don't remember which one. I just knew it was one of them. So she's not very nice. And she goes, I'll never do that again because she paid like, I don't know, like 400 bucks or something for this two day thing. That wasn't including, you know, meals and her hotel and getting there and all this stuff. And then for them, not even, you know, anyway, not very nice. Well, she really didn't have that kind of money either. She saved for like two years for this workshop, you know, because these ladies do them every year, right, in various places. She saved. She did not have the money for this, but she was, she just liked her so much and liked her art. And, you know, this is what she saved for. This was like her vacation. And then that's why it really kind of slapped her in the face when, you know, her whole illusion of this person just sort of went poof looky 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 oh yay after three hours or something i like that i did yay, <laughs> yay. okay the night is a success. <laughs> okay. Hunky Dory. I think it kind of looks like one I already did. <laughs> First, <laughs> not tonight, but another night. It was, or did I already use it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you're kind of similar. <laughs> 
very similar. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, let's try something. Let's try another one. Hey. The evening may not be young, and neither are we, but, you know, what the heck. Um, this is kind of intricate. It might be too intricate. I don't think I've used it with the... Um, no, I haven't used it. That'll be pretty. I, I already know. This one's going to be pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Looks like I really didn't. <laughs> you really didn't. <laughs> Nothing's been going on here tonight. I might delete the whole video. There's there's nothing to watch here. <laughs> Seriously. I get these comments all the time. Why are your videos so long? And I tell them, I don't do videos. I do live streams and I post my live streams. I don't do videos. I guess I should put these lids on here so it doesn't evaporate so much. Uh-oh, where's my other lid? Oh, there it is. had a friend that went to now this one I don't remember well, let me let me think of her name not my friend's name but who she went to the oh my goodness if you guys are into altered books you know who she is what's her name oh, hello can't think of her name right now you guys probably know help me out she does altered books. Now I really think I have to delete this video. <laughs> We're talking about people. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. Her. Um, she won't socialize either. My friend went to hers in Florida. I think it was Florida. And she goes into another room during lunch. And when it's over, she's gone. You know, at the you know at the end of the day, she's just gone. And then the ladies meet up for like like a little breakfast or something in the morning. She's not there. When class starts, she's there. When lunch starts, she's gone.
No, Jennifer, it didn't. It didn't come out at all. Um, where is it? It um, the plastic ones wouldn't lay flat, so it didn't get the good print. And the other ones that are made out of some kind of fabric, they just sucked up the ink. So that was like, um, this is what we ended up with. That was the best we got. So we moved on. <laughs> it didn't work. I was getting, I was getting discouraged. Like, okay, let's do something that actually works. What is a good ink maker or paint maker to use and to use in coloring books? Paint markers to use. Okay, if you're talking literally coloring books, I don't do that. So I I couldn't recommend what to use. What's the best thing to use on those? Um, I know certain markers bleed through everything. Other markers don't. I honestly don't know one from another. I'm very ignorant when it comes to markers and all that kind of stuff. Oh no, Lucy, what a position to be put in. Oh dear. But you know what? Okay, this is my personal opinion. Personal opinion. When you are, when you're in a people business and people are paying you um, for a persona that you put out there, you need to suck it up. <laughs> if you can't do it, then refund the people their money and reschedule something. If you can't be, be there, you know, otherwise suck it up and show up. That's what you're getting paid for. I know the uh, the first workshop I ever did, um, I did it with um, Shannon Green. And it was here in my studio. And I had talked, or, but way before that, you know, like six months before we had the actual workshop, I had um, talked about one of my friends that was dying of cancer. And she was a trooper and, you know, she, um, you know, she tried her best and tried to have a really, really good attitude and everything. Well, the night before the workshop, she died. Well, needless to say, and she lived three houses down from me. Needless to say, um, I wasn't in the best shape. And I bet you right now, if you ask anybody that was at my workshop that day, they don't know. They, they probably are finding out right now if they're, if they're watching that my best friend died the, the day before. And I ate lunch with everybody. <laughs> we spent time with each other. We laughed. We had a good time. Um, some of my, I'm in Arkansas. Some of my students came from as far as New York City. After it was all over with, we all went out. We go, everybody was hungry. They go, let's go have dinner. We all went together and went to a re Mexican restaurant and had fun. I was with these ladies from probably, it was like nine o'clock in the morning. 
I think the last person left my place like after after 930 at night. So for 12 hours, you know, I was hosting these ladies and trying to give them a good time. And I did not charge them four hundred dollars <laughs> for a good time. Nowhere close to four hundred dollars was I charging. But I I felt a responsibility um, that I was a hostess, you know. And when Shannon came in that morning. I took her over to the corner and I said, you know, Shannon, if you see me kind of dazing off or not paying attention, I explained to her what had happened. She goes, oh, Rosemary, go over with the family. Go, I'll, I'll take over for you and everything, you know. And um, I said, no. I said, they, they paid for both of us. And plus, you know, what am I going to do? And all the family was coming in and all that stuff for, you know, that, that family. So it was a time really for just family anyway. So, um, so, you know, you have to, you got to keep things, um, you got to be professional, bottom point, that's the bottom line, bottom line. If that, if, if that's what somebody is paying you for, you better deliver. That's all I got to say. Or cancel. <laughs> One or the other. Ooh, this is going to come out cool. Yeah, when I got up in the morning, I'll be honest with you. When I got up in the morning, um, I, I told myself, I don't think I can do this. I really don't think I could do this. And um, and so I just kept thinking, okay, I know Shannon can handle it. I mean, she's been doing this way longer than I have. So that's not an issue, you know. Um and then I thought, you know, the reality was, what could I do for the family right now? Nothing. I, you know, the family was coming from different parts of the country to their home. I didn't even know the rest of the family. So it wasn't like they needed me to console them. You know, I don't, I don't know them. They don't, you know, me telling me, telling them I'm sorry, you know, it would mean absolutely nothing. Um, so I really didn't see a role for me to play in that particular day. And um, she was an artist in her own right. And she, uh, she did all kinds of stuff. <laughs> she, um, she would dress up. She would buy. She would go on eBay and buy patterns, original patterns from like the mm, 30s and 40s dress patterns and she would make her clothes out of those patterns out of the original patterns and then she would she would buy everything at used you know shops and maybe use the fabric and redo it into that era if the fabric looked like from that time period but maybe the you know it wasn't and so it maybe it was something made in the 70s but it was replicating some kind of fabric from the 30s or the 40s so she'd get it and tear it apart and use that and redo her stuff. Um, she uh, made jewelry. She would get all kinds of jewelry and tear it apart and remake the jewelry. Um, what other kind of art did she do? Just all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Oh, she made these beautiful, like, these bags that were... I don't know. You really couldn't name what they were. They were very bohemian looking and she'd use lace and fabrics and 
upholstery stuff and tassels and she was kind of ahead of her time with all that that kind of stuff she was just a grown-up hippie is basically what she was <laughs> and she made really cool stuff and she had a lot of a lot of stuff that she had collected over the years and I'm going to do this then. You know how we all are. We're always going to use it someday, right? And so she's the one that I shared. I don't know if you're in my Facebook group, but a couple of years ago, it's been like, what, I guess it's, that's now been four years, maybe three, four years. I can't remember. Anyway, um, she's the one that um, asked me to, to share something with the group, which I did. And her message to everybody was use everything that you have. Don't save it for later because later may never come because it never came for her. You know, she was, I think she was 52 years old. So, you know, you may, you think, oh, you know, when I retire, when I do this, or when the kids are gone or when the grandkids are gone, you know, whatever in your mind, whatever time frame in your mind you have given yourself. Well, you know, she wanted to remind people it's a time frame you've given yourself. You don't know what your time frame is. So enjoy your stuff. Use your stuff. Um, because someday it's going to be, you know, at the end of your driveway, somebody buying it at a garage sale. All your precious stuff that you were going to use someday that nobody else but you appreciates. And, you know, and then what? So she says, use your stuff. Cut up that fabric you can't stand to cut up, you know. Use those papers you can't stand to, to let go of. Use them. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I, I firmly believe that. And so I, when I make my journals and stuff, I keep I, I stay with them for a little while. The ones that I really, really like, one of a kinds, you know, I'll I'll stay with them for a little while and, and, and enjoy them. And I look at them and I look through them. And if they're, you know, have textiles and stuff, I'll touch them and feel them. And then, you know, after, you know, a couple of months or so, I'm ready to let go. And that's when I put them up in my shop and they're off to the next person that wants to, you know, touch them and work in them and whatever it is they're going to do with the journals, you know. Because that's pretty much how I started selling stuff. I wanted to make too many things and I just didn't want it sitting around. And I thought, I wonder if anybody would want to buy that so I can make some more. Look at this. Yummy, yummy. Look, guys. All right. So if you ladies have a jelly plate and if you have um um inks or you have one and don't have the other you need to run out and buy one or the other because they're, they're a lot of fun and you know you can if you're not a journaler if you don't you know if you don't make journals um this would look really pretty just getting any kind of old book and cutting these out and gluing them into the book or in a magazine or something and create yourself just some pretty, pretty pages to look at. That would be really cool. Kathleen, I have a whole lot of fat. Oh, how cool. That would be fantastic. That would be cool. Yeah, I like I like working with the inks. Actually, I kind of like working with the inks better than just the acrylics. Um, because you can get it's just kind of the effect of because I don't know if you can see this, probably not, and I don't want to put my autofocus back on, but because it seeps underneath the stencil, it literally has what looks like um, like everything is outlined in black because it pulls right next to the edge, you know, of the stencil. 
and it gives like a, an extra outline to it. And so it really looks very, very intricate, a lot more intricate than when you use just the, um, the paint. And now with these um, white areas, if you're the type of person that does like doing the coloring with the pencils, you could come in with some pencils and fill in those, those white spaces. That would look really cool. You can make like your own coloring book with all the spare spaces that you have. If you have like um, metallic pencils, that would look really cool in there. But I'm just not a pencil person. But that would look pretty. Okay, which one other one haven't I tried? There's got to be another one. So anyway, that's my sermon for the evening. <laughs> that's my sermon for the evening. Or my TED Talk, whatever you want to call it. Well, let's see what else can I do. Uh oh, what time is it anyway? <gasps> oh my goodness. I haven't done the doll yet tonight. Have I done this tonight? I haven't done this tonight, have I? I don't think so. I don't think so. Is this open? I got sometimes I forget what colors I have down there. I got orange, orange, and anyway, I'm taking a, uh, an online class. I don't, I mean, I usually don't take online classes. I mean, I usually don't take classes. Um, but um, somehow I got these notices for this company. I got an email is what it was. I don't know how I got on their list. Somehow I got on their list. But they're in Spanish. And I started looking. I think I mentioned this uh, a couple of weeks ago. I And I started looking at their classes. And they had really interesting stuff. They're all art, you know, art related. And um, so I took one and I'm taking one right now on textiles and the the dyeing of textiles. Very interesting stuff. But she recommended this book. And I can't find the book anywhere. It's out of print. Even on the used ones, nobody's got it. <laughs> and my husband's really good at researching. I said, I gave him the name of the book and the name of the person. I said, I need this book. Because <laughs> it was one of the teacher's reference books. It was one of her favorites when she was in, in college. Uh, learning all about textiles and the dyeing of them. My husband can't find it either. Whoops, that kind of bled all over the place, didn't it? My husband can't find it. And I thought, oh my goodness, if my husband can't find it, nobody can find it. So we're on the hunt. What's the name of the book? Oh, it's in Spanish. Don't ask me to remember the name of the book. <laughs> Did I write it down here? No, I think I wrote it down and gave it to him. Um, oh, don't ask me those hard questions. Um, what is the name of the book? Did I write about other paper here? here? 
while I'm fanning. Let me see in my little pile here of stuff. Um, nope, that's not it. I think I gave it to my husband. I think it tore off my sheet that I was writing little notes when I was watching the class. And I think I gave it to him. Yeah, I don't have it here. I'll get it for next time we get together. But anyway, what's really cool about that book is that it, it's it's not just a you know a book talking about dying and the types of things you can use, but what's kind of cool about it is she wrote it sort of like in a journal kind of form in that she's got the name of the of the plant um, and then she has swatches of colors that that plant um, how different fabrics uh, react to that particular plant and the colors that you get and then she has because all of these these plants are natives of Mexico and so then on the other side she has the indigenous name for the plant and then she has a hand drawn picture of the flower and the plant and that's like a one spread all that information I just told you and it just it aesthetically it looks so cool and every single page is at a different plant the different flower how it relaxed to different you know so on and so forth exact same thing and it is so cool <laughs> I want it but oh well can't find it Alrighty. And I thought, oh my goodness, if my husband can't find it. I don't think he has it. That man, I don't know how he finds stuff, but he does. I put acrylic paint on a piece of glass. Kind of like a flower. Read the paper off and open that and keep it layer. Oh, cool. I gotta show you something I got the other day. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Well, I kind of sort of know already. I've been thinking about it. Oh, that's kind of a hot mess, but it's still kind of cool. It didn't go underneath in that one spot. Huh. It's funny, all of the, oh yeah, it turned it into purple. That's what I'm going to say. Where did all of my orange go? It kind of reacted like a red and turned the blue into purple. 
Okay. I see now where it all went. Oh, 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 oh. Hold it. Donna's not here, is she? Ah. I wanted to, let me show you guys this. You know, I'm kind of glad that I'm not mysterious, that, that I'm really obvious to all you guys. <laughs> because when I get happy now, it's me. You guys know me so well. I'm like an open book. It isn't like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do with that now that somebody sent me that? Like, oh, my no, it never happens. You guys, you guys have me all figured out, my taste, and everything I get. I'm putting these lids on so I don't spill stuff. And everything I get is always right on. <laughs> I like being an open book. No mystery about me. Look at look at this. Um, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with this because there's no way I'm tearing it apart. I mean, there's no way I'm using it in any kind of art, you know. Let me put these completely away. I guess I'm just going to have to hang it or something here in, in the kitchen part of my studio, maybe. And because it's too big to even um, scan it to use it in any way, shape, or form. But look how cute. This is a, a rice bag. And that's just how big it is. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? 50 pound bag. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Kathleen, let's see. Let's put my daughter by there. I don't know. What kind of rice does she get? kind of rice does she get? You never know. And then, oh, you guys remember that I spoke about a bit of Songbird, right? Last time we were together, I talked about her stuff, her kits and stuff. Were you guys around? And look at this. Okay, I'll, I'll do that last. And then look at what else she, she sent in here. That's real, real calligraphy done on that. Isn't that cool? And these are photocopies of um, Japanese postage stamps. All of her husband's tied, and she's probably getting some really cool bags. There's a restaurant. Um, I haven't gone in a while to go get them because I have too many of them already. But they were saving me their bags. Now, the bags that they have that their rice comes in at the restaurant, um, it's it's not it's not fabric. They don't they don't do that no more. I think for sanitary reasons, it's not even done. But um, but the 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 material of it is so cool. It's it's like a cross-hashed, woven, some kind of plastic thing. I can't even explain it. I, I don't I think I have here one right now. I'll look real quick. I might have one. And look how cute. Look how cute that is. And um, now you guys know this is all me, right? I mean, who else is this? I mean, it might be some of you guys too, but it's also me, right? And look at this cool paper. It's like rice paper. The super, super duper cool paper. And then these are all dictionary pages. Isn't that cool? And this. And th these pages in the book, she says, um... They're from her dad's book, and these books are Chinese books. The ribbons are Japanese silk. And 
and this is so cool. I don't know if you can see them, but it's got little fans on them all along there. And this has just some pretty, I think it's just flowers. Oh no, there's little birds too. I didn't see the birds last time. So cute. So, you know, I'll use all of and, and again, I'll look at it for a while. I won't do anything with it for probably, you know, at least a month. And I'll just look at it and I'll touch it again. And I'll bring it out and, you know, do the ugu gaga thing on it. And then, you know, I'll be ready to, to do something with it. This, I think I'm just going to hang, though. I mean, yeah. I'll put it in my in the kitchen here in my studio. Uh oh, we got we got goofy guys here. <laughs> Thank you, Darla. <laughs> Darla to the rescue. Darla knows me too. Everything she sent me. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I'm, glad I'm an open book. That's all I can say. And a bit of songbird. Uh, where is that? Uh oh. When I do that, see, I'm telling you, I got to get stuff put away. Now, what did I do with that? I probably put it away. Now, where would I put it away? <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Where did it go? Well, oh, I know what I did. Oh, okay, here we go. See, I've already been separating things. See, that's what I do. It's the only way I can stay halfway organized is I don't keep things together like from what people, you know, have sent me, I have to put it in categories so that when I'm looking for something, I know, okay, all that's over there. So I'm already starting my little stockpile for, for June, which you guys might want to start if you're going to play along with us in June, um, is the theme is basically blue and white to go with the cyanotype that we're going to be doing. So, um, like, this is part of the stuff that um, Tamar sent me along with those fern books. This is blue, and this was in the box also, so that's going in my pile. Now, everything that goes in the pile isn't necessarily used, but it's there for, to, for me to look at and to be inspired by. So that was part of her pile. And now this here is other stuff. Um, um, is from, um, oh, it's from Lynn. So, now I'm just forgetting. See, if I remember a person's name, then I forget their shop. And I remember their shop, and I forget their name. <laughs> you know how that goes, right? <laughs> anyway, so, um, she, she put some, she can she has a bunch of stuff. And so she compiles different things. I told her, I said, can you put me a little package together with, yes, Lynn, a bit, <laughs> a bit of Somberg. There you go. Um, so I told her, can you put me a small little kit together with just blues? Because I don't have a lot of, you know, just ephemera type stuff in blue. And I wanted some inspiration for you know, the kit. So, um, yeah, she does. So, so I asked her to put some blue stuff together. So 
I got, she sent me some of these cards. Isn't that pretty? So this is our blue stuff. And look how cool, if this isn't cool, now remember now all this also too, look at that, how neat. And if I mentioned, I mean, um, if I mentioned, if you remember, I mentioned um, when I was doing my glue books, the hardest thing for me to find was blue. I don't know if that's going to be for you guys, but for me, the hardest color is, is to find blue stuff. So anyway, you guys know already, I've mentioned enough times that we are doing the cyanotype, right? Well, look what she found. These are butterflies. Uh, but look. They show the print in cyanotype. Isn't that cool? So if you were to take, you know, because they're the, the moth's wings and, and the butterflies are so transparent that if you were to take a butterfly or a moth or anything like that and set it down, this is the kind of print that you would get. Cool, huh? Now she's a really busy lady, so I don't know if she know if if she knows that this is for cyanotype or not. I don't know if I specifically said that to her, but I just know it was the blue I was looking for. And she sent a few cool buttons. Those back in here. The envelope. A note for her. And then she included some fabrics, which when it comes to blue, I have very few. Again, I just find it hard to find blue stuff. So that's really cool to have a bunch of a bunch of pieces. For me to get some inspiration. Oops, there's another card. Just put that in there too. And then a couple of napkins with blue. Another piece of fabric. And some paint chips. Some kind of tickets. Here's some more cards. Put those in there. Let me check somebody's card. And then some more paint chips. That's a good place to think about if you're looking for blue stuff. Paint chips. <laughs> You know, you find blue there. Um, blue fabric, I mean, um, paper. Oh, and look at this. This is some kind of rice paper. You can see that it's rice paper. I haven't seen rice paper printed quite so vividly. And here's a piece of, I guess that's wrapping paper. Look at those pretty birds. Looks Asian to me. You know me, I see everything through an Asian's prism. Look at that. It's got some shininess on there. Oh, pretty. Of a book. So 
So needless to say, I have enough stuff to inspire me now. Now I have to give you guys a heads up. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Look at the little elephants. How cute is that? Oh, we're going to have to do an elephant theme because I just, I love elephants way too much to not do that. Piece of paper. Ah, oh, that would have been so pretty to see the whole thing. More rice paper. I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what that's from. Looks like some music or something. And here's from a calendar. Paper. And a bag. Look how cute that is. Whoops, another blue. Blue. And blue. So, I have a lot to be inspired with. <laughs> Needless to say... So, what I was going, what I was going to mention was... Those of you that got um, this month's kit, you, you saw how much was in it. It's packed full. It's got so much stuff. You know, it's got a lot of stuff to play with. So next month's kit is not going to be as chunky because the things that I have to include in it cost me, uh, the chemicals cost me more money. And a lot of time is involved on my part to prep all the papers and all that kind of stuff. So it takes a lot more time and, um, and you know, the whole thing. So I want to, I don't, I don't want to um, raise the prices on the kits. So it's one or the other, either next month I pack it like I normally do, but then the price would have to go up. But if I keep it modest as far as how much stuff I put into it, then um, I can keep the prices the same. So I just, just so you, you know, if you wonder, well, gosh, this one costs this weight a pound and this one's only going to be weighing half a pound. What happened here? You know, so that's where that's coming from. Um, but it's, just, it's still going to be a beautiful pack and it's going to be a lot of fun. And you're going to learn a couple of new things as usual. You know, each month I want you to learn something new. Um, hopefully you're learning something new that you can put into your little bag of tricks for doing your journals. And remember, everything that we learn can be applied to any kind of journal making that you do. It isn't just specific to that style or that type or whatever. You guys know what I mean. Oh, do what? Um, do you have much or even like music paper? When you say music paper, do you mean the paper that you would write your own music on? Or do you mean like sheet music paper? Am I going to be adding metals to my cover? You know, <laughs> the funny thing with me is I really don't plan that much. It's amazing that I can put a kit together um, because I don't plan that much. The the one that we're going to, this one that we make doesn't have any metal on it. Um, the one we're going to do on Wednesday. But we're also going to do a hardcover one. And I was thinking of maybe, I don't know, fooling around with something. I'm not sure what yet. But I think we might. I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun. Um, sheet music and music books. I have oodles of sheet music and music books. Um, I really need to start using them more. And maybe maybe we need to, at some point, put a bunch of them inside of a kit somewhere. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Suzanne says, keep it modest. I still have extra pieces and parts from the other kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want you guys to have, you know, stuff to play with and not just have enough to make one journal, have enough to make, you know, because like most of the journals that most of the kits we've been playing with, we've made at least two journal, different, totally different types of journals with each kit. Just so that you can see, you know, a variation in what you can do with the same materials. I think that's always fun to, to see how you can look at the same materials and then come up with, you know, totally different stuff. Uh, Rosemary, what is that? What What is that What you have there? Oh, yeah, this right here, Kim. This is um, what we are going to make or start on Wednesday is is uh is the industrial kit and everything that's in here um was in the kit and these were the papers that last wednesday i showed everybody how to grunge up their papers that they're getting in the kit so that if they want it to look like this um um you know they can grunge them up before next wednesday before we start but from what I gather, most people will watch it, but they don't make it as I'm making it. They go back later on and, and put it together. So, um, do I have sales on Etsy? I have an Etsy store. All my kits go up on Etsy um, once a month. I make a lot of journals. My journals go up there. I have different kits. They go up there. Um, yep, I have a store. Thank you, Darla. I forget to promote myself, actually. <laughs> I forget to put my store. But thank you for asking. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you guys, I don't know if anybody's going to be interested in them. I, um, but I need to find them a home because I'm not going to probably use them. The problem with these is the cost in the mailing. I figured out what it was going to cost and I already forgot. Um, I'll have to read. I'll have to like look it up again. I have this book. <clears throat> it's not. It's not in good shape at all. Oops, let me bring it. It's not in good shape, and I'm taking uh, the pages apart, and I'm going to sell each individual one. But I don't know if anybody's going to be interested. But I'm just going to show you anyway, because you just never know. You guys are a bunch of crazy ladies that love all kinds of cool stuff. So I figure if I liked it, you probably liked it. All right. Now, this is one of the ones that's all messed up. This obviously I'm not selling this, but this is <laughs> let's go. This is to give you the size. <laughs> this is to give you an idea of the size of the pages. Okay. <laughs> That gives you an idea. Let me measure this just so that we have an idea. All right. So it's 17 across. 17 across. 18. 18. 19. 20. 22. 22 inches long. All right, 18, remember that because I won't, 18 by 22. All right, here, <laughs> which I'm not selling this either because it's a mess, so it's, I love the mess. This is the book cover. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't that look like something I would make? <laughs> this is some kind of fabric coming off. Isn't that just yummy?
And then this is the inside of the front cover. Okay, so what this was, was a, it was, I guess what you would call like a catalog of sort. That's not even the right word. The right word will come to me or you guys will think of it. But it was um, a, a large book that would be at a place of business that would show the different styles of um, clothing and uniforms that would be handmade and then it also showed the fabrics of which those items could be made and that's what this kind of looks like here there would be a picture here and it would have the fabric and see here it shows you whoops, hello it has the name here and it has overcoat and a number this makes reference to the pattern that um that was going to be made. And then it would give all the prices if you had the overcoat, if you had the suit, if you had the coat and the vest, if you had the pants, la di da di da di da. And so then it would have samples of um, the fabric. And this comes from 1905, spring and summer season. And what was the name of the company? Oh, here's the name of the company. Star Tailoring was the name of the company. So this is the sample book for that season. All right, just so you know what this is. All right, so that's another messed up page. <laughs> oh, we'll get to the nice ones in a second. Something that looks halfway decent. Uh, okay, and it's very heavy because it's like, uh, cardboard here let me get i need to oh hold on clean up your mess rosemary don't set up a catastrophe to happen you know it will if you let it so don't let it you are in control you are in control take control So I didn't have it all squared up. I just got a little spontaneous there. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to. So here's the top part. It just says, what does it say? What? What is that word? Oh, it's an L. I'm reading it as an S, and I'm thinking, oh, boy, I, it must be late. I'm reading that as an S. Whoops. As an S, and it's an L. <laughs> Latest spring and summer fashion. I'm going, satis, satis. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so it's showing these guys, and let me scoot it up, and it has numbers. To correspond with each guy and then let me get my this out of the way so I can push it further okay. all right and so here are some corresponding numbers and then on the bottom it explains what that is number five is a square cut single breast sack it is pretty square cut. It looks like a sack for sure. <laughs> Number six is a long roll sack. Not, not to button. Okay. I guess it's not supposed to button. And then the other one is a double breasted sack. Why is it called a sack? Three buttons. And then the other one is a three button sack. This one, three. That's just how they refer to it. So that's one page. 
And on the back of that page, it looks just like the other one I showed you. It would have had the samples of the fabric and stuff for each number. Um, but of course, that none of that is there. Okay, so then the next page, um, it is Peerless Values at Popular Prices, Star Tailoring of Chicago. Woo! Watch out. Um, and again, it has the pictures, and on the bottom, it shows what it's referenced to. And in the back, same thing, it would have had the samples of the fabric. Oops, I'm losing everything. <laughs> um, here in um, Arkansas, they have, what is that thing called? Oh, what is it called? I think it's called Sale Galore on 64. It's Highway 64, and it's just miles of vendors that throw stuff up once a year. And I happen to find that one of those years. I've had this. I've had this. I've had this probably four years, maybe five years. If not long. Oh, no, it's been longer than that. It was before I started, you know, all this mixed media stuff. I didn't know any about any of you guys when I bought this. So it's probably been about five years. Okay, here's this one. Latest spring and summer fashion. Now, the best you could do with this is, um, fortunately, because there's no picture in the back, these would be beautiful framed. I mean, they would really be cool. Good night, Kim. Um, yeah, the, the first one, the date was, um, where did it say? Um, was it 1905, I think it said? Hold on. Yeah. 1905. Spring and summer season of 1905. He's pretty dapper. He's kind of cute. I don't know about those shoes. They wore high heels, the guys then. A lot of these guys, they were they had heels. He's pretty dapper too. Yeah, button shoes. Yes, they did. And then this is just a page of um, advertising. So additional charges for treatment are, I guess this was to make them waterproof or something if they were, let me see. Eh, yeah, rainproof. Um, additional, they would charge $1.50 to waterproof your overcoat. 
a dollar fifty to waterproof your suit. And if you wanted your coat and vest, it was a dollar fifty. Coat and pants is a dollar fifty. Just your coat was a dollar twenty-five, and your pants were seventy-five cents if you wanted to waterproof them. And then it could be worn in any kind of weather, rain or shine, anywhere and everywhere. Now, this page, it talks about the styles and then it talks about the sizes that it is available in. If your height was a certain height, then it showed what those measurements should be. I guess if you were a perfect weight. <laughs> but what's interesting to me is they had it all the way down to five foot two. I wonder if they had to be eyes of blue. But um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Five foot two for a guy. And these are men's clothing, not children. So then they show all the men doing their thing. And look at the dog that they have. Pit bull dog. Well, bull terrier. Let's not, let's not be negative. Bull Terrier. And then on the bottom here, in, in relation to the numbers that they have down here, they say what, what outfit, you know, that is. And there's that one picture that I said about the doggy. There he is. Now, this one is in rough shape. Which is very sad because that's like one of my favorite ones. The doggy. Here's the gents. I have no idea how it got damaged. This is exactly how I got it. After 100 years, 120 years, you know, it's bound to get damaged. Oops. I think I've got maybe two more pages or three more pages. And look at this one. This is pretty cool. This is about all different kind of vests. And look at this one. I just love this one. But it's ripped on the corner here. But this one and the other doggy one is my favorite. You see that's torn right there. I mean, none of them are in perfect condition. Every single one of them has something. something wrong with them. I mean, it's, it's old. It was damaged. And then on the back here, talks about the types of fabric that they have. Blue flannel, yacht cloth, blue dress cloth, dark, medium, and light shades, 
cadet cloth, all weights. I don't know what cadet cloth is. So you can order the uniform samples. Please state plainly the colors you want. Give us the fashion plate of the number and the illustration opposite the page. Yada, yada, yada. Illustrations opposite are our exclusive design and correct in every detail. So anyway, this is one of those things that I just look at. I'll look at it, you know, every couple of months I take it out, I look at it. And so I thought, you know, you got to practice what you preach. <laughs> I mean, I'm never going to use every page and do something with every page. So, you know, I thought I just put it out there and I don't know, you know, if it's something that anybody's interested in in buying one of the pages and I figured out because the, um, it, the pages are very thick. They're, um, Oh, uh, they're uh, they're thicker than you know, like a um, um, hmm. like a cereal box. They're thicker than a cereal box. Each page. That's what they sound like. So they're they're pretty thick. So it isn't something I could roll up, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like for shipping. I couldn't roll it up into a tube. It's got to be mailed flat. <coughs> oh, dusty too. <coughs> I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> okay. I would have to... Um, you know, they, they couldn't be rolled up if somebody was interested in buying a page. That's what I'm trying to say. So having said all that, I don't know if, you know, I haven't put it out there because I'm not sure if that's something that people are even interested in for me to find out all the details as far as shipping and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. I stuck my nose right into the dust of it all. Oh, what time is it? Oh, oh my gosh, it's getting late. What's well, today? Saturday, right? I'm forgetting what date is. <laughs> box ran. Oh yeah, it's Sunday now. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, you're not all at home. Oh my goodness, that sounds kind of ominous. I did some more of my Santa types yesterday. I was very happy with how they came out. <clears throat> Are you guys all ready to go to bed? <clears throat> Is it Betty Bag time for you guys? Where did you go? Where did they go? Oh, here they are. <clears throat> I got some more done. Yay! Arlene is painting. 
and she's drinking coffee and eat, oh boy she must be wired up if she's got all of that caffeine from chocolate and coffee oh my gosh I think I want to paint my um the steps to my little porch here to my studio it um because I water my plants there and the paint's kind of it's about it's only been about three years since I painted them but they're kind of like lifting up a little bit so I think I'll go in and scrape it all off and repaint the little steps everything else is okay <clears throat> I don't know what I did different with the steps maybe I used different paint because the little little deck part the porch it's open to the same elements and it's just fine I do. So yeah, I think I'll paint. I think I'll, I think. Oh, those these here are the ones that are already did. This is a new one. That's what I think I'll do. <laughs> I think that one's a new one too. Yeah, I already did those. That came from my other pile. Arlene's backwards. She gets unwired with coffee. Good night, Gina. Thank you for coming and playing with us. Well, ladies, I think I'm all done, unless you have a question. Oops. I think if I start something else, it'll last too long. <laughs> you know how that happens. Start a new project, then it just keeps on going and going and going. Mm -hmm. Well, now I get to read. That's why I'm quiet. I'm reading the back stuff. <laughs> Now I'll go down to the bottom. Kathleen had fun. Rosemary is with me. Yes, I am, Darla. It's just really hard finding stuff. <gasps> I got a thumbs down. I have arrived. I remember Shannon Green telling me that. Until you've gotten a thumbs down, you're doing something wrong because you're pleasing everybody. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, Darla has some books. I'm sure I have, Kathleen. I just don't even look. My most um my most thumbs down oh uh, was what? Oh, you know what's really funny? <laughs> this is this is funny and true. It's funny and true. Oops, my glasses are dirty. Um, I forget. This has been a little while. This has been a while back when I was putting these flow journal flow flow packs basically together in my shop. People liked getting um, you know, sort of like what I got from Lynn. I would put these flow journals together with all these supplies. Those of you in my group, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'd put them together and sell them on my shop. Well, 
I had done a video. I always do a video, a flip through, whatever I put in my shop so that people know exactly what they're getting and they're not surprised and they can't say, oh, I thought it was this. I thought it was that. So I always do a flip through. So I did that when it had to do with one of my flow journals. And um, this person got really irate with me because I didn't give somebody else credit for the flow journals. Well, as far as, you know, giving it the name flow journal and, you know, I did start that. I mean, I did not start the concept of a, of a flow magazine, obviously, because that was already in effect. I did not start the concept of, um, you know, putting packs together of like materials, but I did give the little name to it, caught on, everybody started, you know, um, putting their own little twist on, on a flow journal and this and that. And so the, the person got mad at me because I didn't give so-and-so credit for the name. And after that, and I, I kind of, I, you know, I, I thought politely let them know, well, you know, I don't know why I should give them credit because they aren't the ones that came up with the idea. And uh, after that, every single video I had, had a thumbs down and I think she just comes to my <laughs> I mean every single video has a thumbs down at least one and I think it's her <laughs> but yeah so you know if if you do videos you haven't had a thumbs down I think maybe you're doing you know you're too nice. <laughs> you must be too nice. Oh, my eyes. I'm going to have to put drops and everything when I get off here. They're really dry. I think I forgot to blink. I forgot to blink. <laughs> Early. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Darla. I wonder how much of a lag there is. I think there's a lag. Let me go to YouTube. Just so I see how long it is. Oh, it's long. Let me put something there so I can see. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh, good. It was only four seconds. <laughs> it said just four seconds. For, I mean, if on my, yours might, you know, your lag might be different, but mine's just four, four seconds difference. Pretty good. Not bad. All right, ladies, are we done? I don't get questions at this return because I'm not starting a new project. I only answer questions now. Oops.
Mm-hmm. Proper time. I was having withdrawals. I'd run out of my crackers. So I had to go to Sam's because that's where I get them. So now I feel secure because I have my my crackers. Does it stand? No. Um. Not not any more than the paint does. I mean, it looks just as bad as it did when I started. <laughs> and. My plate's in pretty bad shape. I mean, it gets, it does get stained just by with regular use. Anybody who really uses their jelly plate a lot and doesn't wipe it down every single time, it's going to discolor. That's just the nature of the beast. But to say that the alcohol ink stains them, no. Well, Kathleen, if yours is too pretty, it's a sissy jelly plate. You need to um, let it be more, a little more worldly. Let it get dirty. <laughs> exactly. It's a sissy. <laughs> it's been, it's been um. Coddled. That's right. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I wanna get something like really super something done. And I think that might be like putting a bunch of stuff away. <laughs> So I can see my surface. That might be what I have to do. I know I'm really feeling um um I guess sort of like a, a withdrawal or something because you know um, the lady friends that would come over and we do art together. And there had already been a little lull during the winter time because it got dark early. And, you know, half the ladies come like an hour away just to come over here and to play. And so, uh, and some of them didn't want to drive at night. So if you figure in, you know, in the dead of winter, you know, it gets dark, what, at five o'clock? So that means they would have to leave by at least four o'clock. And usually we get together. We, we spend a, a, a long day together. So um, so there was a couple of months there that they didn't come. Well, some of them didn't come. But they lived a little further away. And then, um, and then all the other craziness happened. And so it's been a while. I don't think anybody's been here since probably December. December, January, February, March. Oh my goodness. It's going to be six months. No wonder I'm getting withdrawals. Yeah, it gets dark early. I remember, Darla, you saying there was a lot of stuff, you know, like, oh, I can't because, you know, the ladies are coming over Sunday. Mm-hmm. They would come over, you know, about maybe two times a month, at least one, but usually two times a month. And now with Richard, um, 
I really don't know how soon, you know, even though it might be lifted, like, oh, you know, people can get together and yada, yada. I'm not really sure when I will be able to do that because of, um, because of my husband's situation. So have to wait and see what the doctor says. Maybe we need to have like a virtual um, play day. I wonder if the ladies. Um, hmm. I got to think about the ladies that come here. If they, I know two of them have the capability of going online. But the other, I'm not too sure. I'll have to ask them. Maybe that's what we need to do. <laughs> yeah exactly Kathleen that's what I was thinking because I know well um, Darla knows more about this how many people Darla can get together on a Zoom do you know or even on the stream yard Uh-oh, I found something that Darla doesn't know about techie stuff. Uh-oh. Right, I know she's typing it in right now because she wants to know. <laughs> like, I've gotten together with, like, two other friends, and we've, you know, done it live together. What? As many as 49 on screen. Holy moly. Lynn thinks six on stream yard. Well, the short answer, Kathleen, is I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I know how it works when you've got like three or four people. You know, like I had some of my friends, we got together. And just like when you are watching other lives, you know, and you've got four or five people there, it would just be among those three or four people. Nobody would be watching. Basically, it's, you know, I'm talking about something private. Because otherwise, then you'd have to be looking at the chat and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It just, it, it, it's, yeah, it's too much. Although people like to watch you be silly with each other and everything else. I understand that, too. But um, you'd have to have, you know, obviously a webcam or something. Something that, you know, you can aim or a phone. Something that you can aim at your surface, whatever you're working on. And then, you know, everybody has the capability that's in that, in that particular, um, what do you call it? I don't even know what you call it. <clears throat> anyway, in that link, you'd be able to talk to each other just like. You know, like you would on the you know, on the phone and everything else. So Yeah. You know, Kathleen, if you go to Amazon and just click in there, you know, phone holder, phone something, something, there's oodles of them. It's as cheap as five dollars, you know. The crazy thing that my webcam is on, it's some it's an extender kind of a thingamajigger. And I think it cost me like $7 or something. And that's what my webcam is attached to. My husband had rigged it all up and I can't, I, you know, I can't move it anywhere else. But, you know, I, I don't really need to because this is all I do. But they have it for the phone and everything else. <laughs>
teams. I'm not familiar with uh, teams. Oh, I never heard of that. So do you have to pay, Lynn, to, um, is there a, like a monthly fee or something for that? For teams or is that, how does that work as far as, um, is it free for a certain level and then it changes if you want it to do more or what? Oh, I don't have no Microsoft Office 365 subscription. Okay. Okay, that tells us right there you have to pay for it. So that's the advantage of of some of the other ones. You don't have to pay for it. I mean, they have upgrades, but there's a free version for a lot of these different ones that provide you with these, you know, the avenue of having the glorified uh, conference call, you know. Okay, so Zoom is 40 minutes. So you could do 40 minutes and then another person could open it up, right? One other, another person that was part of your, say, part of your 100 people, they could open up another one and for another 40 minutes or not. So technically, you could just keep on going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Because, you know, in 40 minutes, we just barely get started. <laughs> yeah. Bye. There you go. I like how Kathleen thinks. <laughs> Well, I think someday, you know, it would be kind of cool. Like everybody, like everybody that bought, like for instance, for the industrial kit, if everybody that bought the kit, we all did um, like a Zoom together and worked on it together. And so in real time, when you're doing something, you have a question, then I'm there and other people are there that are working on it and they might have an answer. And um, that would be kind of fun to do. 
The only issue with all of those, all of those is that, you know, once more than two people start talking, <laughs> it's chaos. <laughs> You can't hear what anybody's saying. <clears throat> and then it starts like echoing and it sounds like some kind of a horror movie. Well, I'm sorry, Darla, but what you just said right there, that qualifies you as a uh, techie guru. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, there's always Old Faithful Skype. That's been around forever. Hopefully they're taking all the bugs out of it. Well, ladies, it is one o'clock for me. That means it's two o'clock for Darla. What are you doing up? Oh, Jerry and Mary and some others used to have a monthly Zoom. We muted ourselves unless we had. Oh. That sounds good. Yeah. Twenty five on a Skype call. All right. Well, when we do the cyanotype, I think that would be really cool for us. And it wouldn't be able to be everyone anyway, because it has to be during the daytime. Um, you know, going out and and putting out the. Um, the uh, the paper and, you know, making the picture and all that kind of stuff. So obviously it has to be daytime. But I think that would be really cool. So in real time, we could all be together. And uh, run out. Because it only takes five minutes for it to develop. So we could all like run out and come back. And then we could show all of our stuff real time. That would be fun. Well, everybody, Kathleen, everybody probably wouldn't be able to do it. You know, because there's still um, people that, you know, are working and or whatever. Um, so it wouldn't be everybody. Um, it depends on average, I don't know, maybe around 45, 50, something like that. But like I say, I don't think, you know, everybody would be able to, to be there on the same time, the same day. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, T, T and there, and that too, Kathleen, not everybody would have a, a good day that day. But the ones that it did work for, it'd be fun for us to kind of see just what they, you know, the progress of their um, development. I think it would be fun. And even if you couldn't do it, you'd like to be there and, and see what other people's work looks like. And if people have questions, you know, you, you'd get in on the answers too. Yeah. Maybe we'll try and figure something out like that. Yeah, let's put Darla in charge. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Don't forget, Darla. June. June is the time. Oh, look at her getting all fancy. Take videos on their phone while it's developing. Oh my gosh. 
Well, the real magic happens when you bring it back in. Seriously, all it does is it just gets everything you look at gets kind of white on when you're outside. So. Kathleen, where do you live? I forget. How, where do you live? Oh, okay. Yeah, you do get more cloudy skies, don't you? No time limit on Skype. Woohoo! All right. We've been having super strange way, uh, weather here also. We've had it uh, about a week ago, I think. Not e Yeah, about a week ago. It was in the 90s. And last night, well, today, the high was probably like 62, 63. But the sun was out. It was one of those really beautiful days where if you're in the sun, it feels nice and warm you know, the sun on your back. But if you, as soon as you get in the shade and there was a breeze, woo, it's kind of chilly. And then tonight, um, um, I think it was supposed to be like maybe in the, the low 40s tonight. And then it's supposed to get hot again. It's just like up and down, up and down, up and down. It is crazy. Oh, thank you, Lynn, so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that sounds good, Kathy. That sounds like beautiful weather. Good morning, Emma. Emma's in the house. Arlene, that's funny you say that because whenever, you know, we're trying to figure something out and we can't figure it out and it's something technical, I told my husband, this is when we need grandchildren. <laughs> and they only need to be five. <laughs> five years old and they can figure it out <laughs> where's the little kids when you need them the little brat i mean the little darlings emma i was just getting ready to say good night <laughs> I had my tea. I had my crackers. We were happening here. We tried to jelly plate certain things. It didn't work. So we had to go to a different technique and that worked okay. Uh, what else did we do? I think that's all we did. It took us forever to do that. <laughs> oh, did I show you guys my, okay, before I leave here. I see things on my table. I I forget what I sh if I showed you my I I don't, I don't know maybe I already showed this, but I like working on my plaster journals, so I like to show them off because I think they're so much fun. My plaster journal. Ugh. I've been working on it slowly but surely, trying to get it done. Um, and I I just love playing with it. And, of course, I went with the Asian theme again because that's just what I do. It's my favorite theme. Can't help it. <laughs> so I think maybe next week 
I'll start playing in it a little bit. I finished up a few little things that I needed. I wanted to fix up and put a little bit more stain in the front. So I think it's okay now. I can always add some later. Yeah, I love working with that stuff. It makes everything look pretty. Doesn't matter what, what it is. I think that's only two pieces in here, or maybe not. Oh, here's some more. So I have three pieces in here. Thank you, Emma. Unfortunately, there's probably going to be a lot of uh, discount stuff all over the place with different companies closing down. That's going to be the sad part. Once everything opens up, see what doesn't open up, right? <laughs> Harper's Weekly, 1861. I don't know where I got that from, but oh well. It was already torn, though. I didn't tear it. All right, ladies. Oh, dear. Oh, oh really? Since Monday. Our restaurants still aren't open. I mean, the, the takeout and the drive throughs are open, but um, none of our restaurants are open. The schools aren't open. Um, really, like doctor's office, they aren't open. They're still doing it, you know, teleconferencing. Um How do I cut into things like what, Kathleen? The um, the fabrics? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Good night, Arlene. Oh, your uncle's kimono. Ooh. Blue and white print. Um, I'm trying to find your post, Kathleen. Oh, okay, that's why I don't see it. <laughs> okay, I tried looking up further and I go, wait a minute. She said something after that. So. Huh, I don't see it. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, ladies, I am going to let you go. I am going to, now I'm cold because I've, I've been moving around and everything. And even though I was sitting here doing this, 
you know, I'm still doing stuff and it kept me warm. But now that I'm just sitting here, I'm getting cold. So I think now I'm going to have to go make me some warm tea. <laughs> now that I drank the cold tea. <laughs> and then after I make the hot tea, then I'll probably need some cold tea. Oh, dear. My husband thinks I'm crazy. Oh, okay. Oh, everybody. Okay, and thank you so much, Emma, for stopping by. <laughs> Nothing personal. <laughs> oh, but it is now going to be 115. So um I'm gonna try and get some stuff done tomorrow. So I want to get up at a decent time, get some decent sleep. Because I know my dog is gonna wake me up. Either way, even when I don't want to. All right, ladies, thanks a lot. I had a lot of fun. And I will, if not before, I will see you guys Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. And we'll start working on that industrial um, uh, project. Alrighty? Okay, thanks again. Good night. I got to find my wrong page. <laughs> Good night.